Hello everyone, welcome to Shesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining the incremental development of software engineering. So, before starting the explanation of incremental development, you should know that to overcome the disadvantages of waterfall model, they introduced incremental development. So, first I will explain the disadvantages, I will brief it once, then I will move on to the explanation of incremental development. So, disadvantages of waterfall model. So, what are the disadvantages of waterfall model? So, as you all know, the disadvantage of uh, waterfall model is here, I can't move from one phase to another phase. You should, you know that I have to move in a sequential order. First phase, next second phase, next third phase, next fourth phase, next fifth phase. Like that only I have to move. Directly I can't move from first phase to uh, fifth phase. That is inflexible. Inflexible uh, movement, movement. So, flexible movement is not there in the waterfall model. And the next thing is, here in a waterfall model, the requirement can't change. In the beginning itself, you have to fix the requirement in the waterfall model. That's why, when you know the requirements very well, when you understood the requirements very well, then only you should use the waterfall model. So, understood guys? The first thing is, you can't move from one phase to another phase. Uh, that means, uh, you should move in a sequential order. That means, first phase, then second phase, then third phase, like that. Directly from first phase to fifth phase, it is not possible. Right? And parallel development is not possible. Parallel means, suppose, in a project, uh, consider that uh, 10 people are there. So, 5 people, uh, they are developing one module, that is one separate code, and another 5 people, they are developing one separate code. Like that, they, you can't uh, develop in waterfall model. No. Right? Everybody should work on the feature that you are going to develop. You can't divide the uh, features and you can't uh, develop that features parallelly or concurrently. Right? So, that are the disadvantages of waterfall model. So, to overcome the disadvantages of waterfall model, they introduced incremental development. Now, let us see what is the incremental development. So, in incremental development, you can see here, these activities, uh, what are the phases? Uh, in a waterfall uh, model also, we discussed the phases, right? So, specification phase, development phase, validation phase, there also, right? Here also, the phases are same only. The phases won't change. Requirement analysis, uh, design, uh, implementation, testing, those phases we here also will remain the same. But what is the difference means you can observe there, these activities are concurrent. Concurrent means, uh, I, uh, two or more development here, I am going to develop the code in the form of increments. That's why it is incremental development. One feature, increment one, second feature, increment two, third feature, increment three like that. So, here increment 1 and increment 2 can be developed parallelly, but in waterfall model it was not a case. First, you should develop increment 1, that means first feature completely, then you can move to the second feature, develop it completely, then move to the third feature, develop it completely, where? In the waterfall model, but here it is not a case. In incremental approach, while developing the first feature only parallelly, I can develop the another feature also. That is the main uh, feature of this incremental development. Incremental development main advantage is that one. Concurrent activities are possible here. So, one more important thing. Here, now you can ask a question. Then, where to start, sir? Where to start? So, outline description. First, they will prepare a outline description. Outline description means what you can see here. Incremental development is based on the idea of developing the initial implementation. First, I am going to develop only the important features, remember. So, I, first what I will do means I am going to develop only the important feature. I will uh, explain with the example, then definitely you are going to understand in a more clear way. First, I am going to develop some of the important feature. Then what I will do means I will uh, give that uh, developed software to the user. Why I am going to do that means I am going to give the software to the user to get the commands, to get the feedback, right? Then, suppose, if you want to 
add the extra feature then i am going to add it add it like that getting guys first i am going to give the initial version to the user you can see see first outline description that means just think it as a requirement outline description contains the requirement yes i took the requirement then i i started developing it uh, the what i will do means i am going to develop only the important requirements i will ready with the initial version i will be ready with the initial version so once the initial version is ready what i will do means i will give that version to the user once the initial uh, uh, version is ready what i will do means i will give the initial version to the user because it, it contains only the important features then user will go through it if everything is fine right or if any problem is there he is going to give the feedback then after taking the feedback i can start the intermediate version understanding guys so initial version first i will uh, set up then after the development of the initial version i'm going to develop intermediate versions i will explain with the example then uh, when all the increments are completed i'm going to get the final software product that is final version i will take up the example definitely you are going to understand that see here next you can see here specification development and validation activities are interleaved i told you right uh, concurrently you can develop here when uh, i told you when 10 people are developing some increments five people will be assigned to one feature or one increment feature or increment will be one and the same here don't get confused right and our remaining five people will be busy in developing the second increment that is parallelly they are going to develop right so here you can see here each increment each increment means what each increment contains some feature functionality means feature each increment always definitely it contains some feature the feature should be needed by the customer Cust customer features will be developed in form of increments that's it right so you can see here in the early increments that means in the early development stage only the important and most urgently required feature will be there afterwards afterwards i can develop the intermediate features and i can add it to get the final version of this software why i am going to do this means here this is the main advantage in incremental development customer can evaluate the system at a early stage only right in the early stage only customer uh, sees the product and if it tells the uh, what are the problems in that product then i can correct it in the early stage itself but in waterfall model it's not a case i have to wait for the output till the final phase but here in the first phase only i am going to get the feedback of the user getting guys so that's why there is the advantage i can avoid the uh, errors but in waterfall model if errors are there i have to wait till the final phase here it's not a case getting guys see so what are the advantages of incremental development uh, let me do one thing first i will take up the example uh, then i will explain the advantages and disadvantages yeah see so this is the example very simple Uh, see here guys so here we are i am considering we are developing a software for hospital management so this is the software for hospital ma hospital management with three features so how many features are there here three features are there so hospital management software here so what are those features adding a doctor is one feature adding a patient is another feature and lastly viewing the patient is uh, one more feature getting guys see see the diagram here so you can see increment 1 means what that is the first feature which is that adding the doctor so increment 2 is what that is the second feature adding the patient you can observe there i am developing each features as increments increments concurrently you can see here while developing increment 1 also you can develop increment 2 while developing increment 2 parallelly you can develop increment 3 right you should uh, you, ca you should not wait until increment 1 is finished you can start the development of increment 2 right S when still the increment 1 is developing so you can start the development of increment 3 right St when still increment 2 is developing like that so see here so these are the three features 
So first I uh, consider adding doctor, adding patient and viewing patient, increment 1, increment 2, increment 3. Now if we want to add the extra feature viewing doctor, right? Here I want to add the extra feature that is increment 4. You can observe here increment 3 also still developing. In the same time increment 4, also, 4 is also under development. That means parallel development is, is, uh, is possible here. In waterfall, in waterfall model it was not a case. Right? You have to uh, wait until the all the features are developed. Then once the feature is developed then you can start from the first phase again in the waterfall model. But here it is not a case. You can see increment 3 is still developing. At the same time parallel increment 4 is also under development. Getting guys this is the main advantage of incremental approach. So you can see after the complete development increment 1, increment 2, increment 3 and increment 4. All the increments are ready. Now my software is fully developed. My software is set of how many features now? 4 features. Getting guys. Hope you understood the concepts. Suppose if you have any doubts, please post your doubt in the comment section. Getting guys, main uh, feature here is what? Parallel development of your software. Concurrent development of your software. Getting? Now, now I will move on to the advantage and disadvantage. See, so what is advantage? Incremental development has three important benefits. So what are those? The cost of accommodating changing customer requirement is reduced. Now you can ask a question. So you, in waterfall model if any changes are needed, right? So what is the disadvantage there? You have to repeat each and every step. Obviously when you, uh, when you want to repeat every step the cost will be more. But here it is not a case. When you want to make the changes, you can uh, develop that change as a separate increment. Getting guys, you have seen here, right? So if you want to develop one feature, extra feature, you can develop it as a separate uh, increment. But in waterfall model, it's not a case. First, from the initial step, you have to repeat the things. But here, it's not a case. So that is the first advantage. The cost will be reduced in incremental development compared to waterfall model. If any changes are there, you can do the changes without any problem in incremental model. But in waterfall model, you can't do the changes. You know, the changes needs to be fixed in the early stages of waterfall model. But here changes can be accommodated. Change, If changes happen, no problem. I can do that. Next, what is the second advantage? It is easier to get the customer feedback. I already told you, in the initial version, I will develop only the important features, then I can develop the remaining features, right? So what happens means, when the initial uh, version is ready, I can give that uh, initial version to the customer feedback. He will see that. So if any problems are there, he will give his feedback and I can correct the problems and if he want to add some extra features also, I can add it as the separate increment. So here, customer will give, uh, get a better idea of the software product in the first stages also, uh, in the first stages itself. Getting guys? So this is the second advantage. C I can collect the customer feedback about the software. This is the second advantage in the early stages only last advantage what is that more rapid devel uh, delivery and development of useful software to the customer is possible how you can ask a question how sir how uh, rapid delivery means you can develop the software product very quickly and you can uh, deliver your product very quickly to the customer how how means even if all of the functionality has not been included so what you can do you can just develop the important features just you can uh, give the product to the customer then you can add some uh, additional features later on in the other versions getting guys right so earlier uh, yeah initial version contains only important features yes ready you can give it to the customer the fastly you can develop it and you can give it to the customer if you want to add more features then you can uh, develop different different versions version 2 version 3 like that so this is the third advantage fast development is possible in incremental uh, approach right what are the disadvantages 
so here the incremental approach has two disadvantages the process is not visible not visible means uh, guys so in waterfall model uh, after every phase i'm going to produce the documentation documentation means what are the things we have done in the first phase what are the things we have done in the second phase how to do the things like that uh, we have to uh, develop the documentation so what is the advantage of the documentation in waterfall model means managers can easily see that and they can take the decisions so yeah this is going to work like this so next thing so i can make a decision like this so like that they can make the decisions but in incremental approach the process is not visible manager need regular deliver deliverables to measure the progress right getting guys so here i'm going to develop the pro uh, project or a uh, software very quickly right so uh, documents produce uh, right document production will uh, give some extra headache to the managers getting guys that's why so here the process is not visible and one more important thing when you add the new features so what happens means uh, the existing feature may get corrupted when uh, when you add the new feature the existing properly working feature may be affected so to correct that feature you have to spend the cost also not, not in all uh, always not in <coughs> excuse me so not in every cases in few cases uh, when you add the uh, new feature it may uh, affect the existing features also right that is the second disadvantage so that's it guys if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you